to this computer. Wonderful. Well, thank you everyone for joining us this morning. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Debbie Morrow and I founded the Real Estate, Refer Real Estate Agent Referral Network and Marketing Tips Facebook group. And um, this virtual coffee is really a part of that. Um, it's all about our agents getting to know each other so they feel really comfortable when it's time to pass referrals. So the first thing we're going to do is introductions. And then um, when introductions are done, everybody have their contact information ready to drop in the chat. Wait until introductions are done, only because if somebody joins um, the meeting after you've put your contact information in, they won't be able to see it. And I want us to all have um, the benefit of having our contact information seen by everyone. So um, don't do it yet. Um, give it a few minutes. Um, after we do introductions, I will try to remind you. Um, so we're going to start. We're going to try to be quick with this. Um, tell us who you are where you are, what brokerage you're with, how long you've been a realtor, and um, if this is your first time on the call. So we're going to start with Gloria up in my top left-hand corner, and then we're going to go Gloria, Cristal, and then Wendy Polly. So you guys be ready with your finger on the unmute button so that when it's your turn, you can go. So Gloria, take it away. Okay, I'm Gloria Benarosh. I am in Seabright, New Jersey at the lovely Jersey Shore. I've been in business for 30 years. I've just changed companies. I just started with Compass. Not sure if that was a great idea. And uh, that's it. Oh, and I'm also, oh, and I'm also a real estate instructor, which is how I found out about this Zoom meeting, because somebody put that in the instructor group. Um, and so I thought, well, that sounds like a great idea. Excellent. I'm glad you're doing this. Christelle, Wendy, Polly, Wendell King. Looking for some awesome barbecue or plan on visiting uh, Kansas City, give me a shout. I'm Chris Dell from uh, Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, Kansas City Realty. I've been uh, doing real estate for over two minutes. <laughs> Wendy, Polly, Wendell King, Kylie. Wendy, you can just hold, press and hold the space bar. That'll temporarily unmute you. All right, I'm gonna, I just asked to unmute. Did that give you a button to, to click? Yes, thank you. Um, I am not techie at all, as I guess you can tell. Um, I'm Wendy Polly. I'm from Lexington, Kentucky. I am the broker and owner of a small boutique brokerage here in Lexington. Uh, we have, I think, six or seven agents. I don't remember. I also have a referral company that has some agents in it that does referral only. I've uh, been in business for 25 years. The name of my company is Distinctive Living. Work as a team with my son, who he's not with me right now, but was here earlier trying to help me with some technical issues, which uh, I guess I didn't learn anything from. But that's who I am. Excellent. And Wendy, this is your first time on the call, right? Yes, this is my first time. Excellent. Uh, Wendell, Kylie, mm -hmm. and then Michelle Frieda. Hey guys, I'm Wendell King. I've been in the mortgage business for 20 years and with Insta Mortgage, and I believe in helping my partners generate more business. So call me. Kylie Michelle Hans. Kylie, you're muted, honey. Hi guys, my name is Kylie Yale. Um, I'm a realtor in Knoxville, Tennessee. I serve the entire Eastern state. Um, I have been licensed for about six months. I'm with a boutique brokerage. We have about 50 full-time active agents. And then I'm on a seven person team. Um, yeah, that's it. That's me. Thank you, Kylie. Uh, Michelle Hans and then Jocelyn. Hi, how are you? I'm Michelle Frieda. I am in Melbourne, Florida. I am with real right now. Um, supposedly there's over 570 agents in just the cloud brokerage in Florida. And they just hired another one in Miami. Um, another broker. Um, I, I'm only three months in, no deals yet, and I'm still thinking about looking for a boutique brokerage 
to work for. So we'll see. <laughs> okay, Hans, Jocelyn, and then Carissa. Hi, everybody. I'm Hans Hoffman. I'm a realtor in Missoula, Montana, and I'm founder of Boundless Home. It's a service that uses data to help buyers who have the freedom to move to find the perfect location for them. So send me an email to sign up. If you serve the location that my customer chooses, you get the referral. That easy. Thanks, everybody. Excellent. Jocelyn, Carissa, and then Danny. Hi, good morning. Um, I'm not a realtor. I'm a personal financial coach. So I'm looking to connect with realtors or mortgage loan um, officers who currently have clients who are not moving through their pipeline due to finances. So I specialize in problem solving and coaching their clients um, in managing their day-to-day -day, uh, money management in order to help them achieve their home ownership goals. So um, I'm in Washington state, but it can help throughout the, the, the US. Thank you. Thank you, Jocelyn. Carissa, Danny, and then, oh, Tracy. Hi everyone, Carissa Beer here. I'm in Illinois, um, around the Geneva area. I was in multifamily for about six and a half years. I held my broker's license, decided to quit what I was doing, which was renovations and design. Um, and decided to become a full-time real estate uh, broker out here. And I've been doing this since January. I've got ghosted twice with lots of time spent on it. So I'm learning to hire slowly um, to make sure that I'm hiring the right people. Excellent, thank you. Danny, Tracy, Paul. Good morning, everyone. I'm Danny military home loans. We are licensed in 11 states. I don't know if you see that right here. My contact information is right here. Um, and we primarily do uh, VA loans. Um, we can do all kinds of loan types, but mostly VA loans. And uh, coming up uh, April 26, we have a seminar um, for, for realtors to learn everything you want you need to know about the VA loans and tips and strategies on how to get those offers accepted. Excellent, thanks, Danny. Tracy, Paul, and then Trisha. Hi there, I am Tracy, the safety lady, and I am a former agent, but now I teach real estate agents how to live and how to work safely. I've been doing it for 28 years. I'm also a safety writer. Um, so you've read my articles in Realtor Magazine, RIS Media, and now in Menyeye. Um, I'm virtual, I'm in person, and I also, I'm international now. I'm providing safety content for Canada, for real estate agents there. My hot topic now is chat GPT AI and how that's a cyber danger. So I'm teaching agents how to live with it, how to use it like I do, but how to do so safely and watch out for the criminals who are using it too. And I have 12 safety classes and I teach how to build business using safety. And that's a little different. I need to tell you how to increase your profits. And that's exactly what I do. And I'm also in Kansas City. I saw Chris is here too. I'm also in Kansas City. Excellent. Thanks for being here, Tracy. Paul, Trisha, Shanti. Morning, everybody. Deb, thanks for having me. I just want to come and observe today. Normally you have me come as the coach. My obligation, everybody, is to show you how to make money in ways you weren't doing before, possibly with your accountant, your divorce attorney your estate planner, your insurance agent, et cetera. That's the obligation. I'm coming today and have to jet at 1030 because I want to hear what Tiffany is doing. So I'm very excited to hear that. Excellent. Thanks, Paul. Trisha, Shanti, Paulette. Carter, I'm with MVP Realty in Southwest Florida. I'm expanding to Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, I've been a realtor for over 20 years. And um, I help buyers and sellers and would appreciate any referrals. Excellent. Thanks, Tricia. Thanks for being here. Shanti, Paulette, Abby. Hi, I'm, I'm Shanti Sharks. I am with the Bryant Group here in Virginia Beach. I service the entire roads area. I'm also a certified military relocation professional. Um, again, I've been in the business for about four months, and this is my first time on the call. Thanks for being here. Paulette, Abby, Miranda. <clears throat> Good morning, everyone. I'm Paulette Davis. I live in Peoria, Arizona. Uh, my office is in Glendale, Arizona, but all of this is in the greater Phoenix metropolitan area. So I work really the Northwest Valley, which is including Sun City, Sun City West, uh, retirement people. But I, I've, I've gone 
many, many miles, but um, I'm one of, I think the last I heard is 70,000 realtors in the state of Arizona, but there's plenty of business to go around because I think we're 5 million people here in the Valley. So I love helping other realtors, whether they're brand new realtors or older realtors or seasoned realtors, okay? <laughs> Excellent. Thanks for joining us, Paulette. Abby, Miranda, Priscilla. Good morning, everyone. My name is Abby Ball. I'm out of Minneapolis, St. Paul. I've been in real estate for almost 17 years, which is pretty fun. And I love just meeting new agents here every week. So thanks for having me. Excellent. Miranda, Priscilla, Barbara. Hi, everyone. I'm Miranda. I'm here in New Mexico. Um, I'm in the Albuquerque area, but uh, pretty much contacts all over the state. I'm on my phone today, so I apologize. I never know when my camera is going to disappear for me. Um, but yeah, if you need anything in New Mexico, I'm a real estate broker here, work with uh, EXP Realty, so we've got great connections everywhere. Just let me know if I can be of assistance. Thank you, Miranda. Priscilla, Barbara, Monique. Hi, everyone. My name is Priscilla. I'm from the Orange County, New York area. I am a realtor with Howard Hanna Land Realty. I've been in the business since October of 2022. Thank you, Priscilla. Barbara, Thanks. Monique, Dennis Smith. So sorry. Hi, my name is Barbara Classic. Um, I, my husband and I are a team and we are in San Diego. We were our work for First Team Real Estate um, I've been in the business um, as my career for about six years. Um, real estate license since the late 80s, so a long time. But um, yeah, we, um, we're happy to be here. I love these, these uh, coffee talks and I have my coffee. Thank you. Excellent. Monique Dennis Naveen. Good morning, everyone. My name is Monique Bernadel. I'm in the greater Phoenix area. I've been licensed. This year will be 20 years. I am new to Arizona. So in order to build my business, what I'm trying to do is my referral commitment is 30% if your referrals buy an existing home and 40% if they buy new construction. So I'm here to help. Excellent. Dennis, Naveen, and then let me go to page two. Uh, where, where does it go? Joseph, so Dennis, Naveen, Joseph. Good morning, everybody. I'm Dennis Smith with Remax in the San Diego area, and uh, I'm a team with my wife, 29 years in the business. Uh, we're interested in creative finance, helping people buy with uh, assumable uh, or subject to or wraparound mortgages, which will allow them to get lower interest rates on the existing mortgages. I'm also what's called a gator lender, and that is, I do short-term funding for uh, flippers and wholesalers that need their earnest money deposits. So glad to help out in any way I can. Excellent. Thanks, Dennis. Naveen, Joseph, Michelle. Hi, everyone. Um, I am in Southern California, to be more specific, in Rivers County, one of the, that has some of the most, uh, um, you know, the fastest growing cities in California. Uh, it's booming here with so many new uh, homes that are being built. Um, I am with Fathom Realty Group and I've been an agent for a year now. And give referrals, so excited to be part of this group. Excellent, thank you. Joseph, Michelle, and then Elise. Joseph, are you there? Can you hear us? Okay, move on to Michelle. Michelle, are you there? Can you unmute? <clears throat> That's the problem when you don't have your cameras on. I don't know if you're in front of the computer or not. How about let's move to Elise. Elise is always there. Elise, can you unmute and introduce yourself? You know, I absolutely adore that you feel like I am always here. From your mouth to God's ears, I am accessible. I am resourceful. I am your real estate broker in the Raleigh Durham area, affiliated with Coldwell Banker Howard Perry and Walston. Yes, I am available, um, probably to my detriment sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, I have been here several times for the last couple of months. I enjoy connecting with you all and um, learning what you all bring to the table and maybe giving me some ideas on how I can improve my business. And I hope that I am having the same effect on you. Excellent. Thanks, Elise. And then it looks like we just have a Diane. Diane Ba, can you unmute and introduce yourself? All right. Hi, my name is Diane Ba, and I'm from Maryland. And um, I'm, I used to be with Long and Foster, and now I'm with Samson Properties. <clears throat> and I've been a realtor since October 2018. Excellent. And uh, Diane, this is your first time on the call? Yes, because at one time I didn't realize it was mountain time and I tried to get on there before, but uh, I got on there at the wrong time. It was like six o'clock at your time, you know, when I tried to get on. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Well, all of you uh, first timers, we so appreciate you coming to check it out. Welcome to our morning call. We hope that you will find value here and come back next week and the week after and the week after. <laughs> this morning, our special presenter is um, a dear friend of mine, uh, Tiffany Sosa. And Tiffany, um, we were having a conversation and and just talking about how um, essential oils can really benefit your listings and your open houses. And I thought, well, what a unique idea to bring to you guys here to kind of open your eyes and, and see how they could help you. So um, Tiffany, thank you for agreeing to come chat with us this morning. Um, please introduce yourself and, and, and talk to us. Oh, wait, I need to also give you um, co-host so you can share your screen if you need to. There you go. Thank you, Debbie. You guys, I'm so happy to be with all of you here today. How exciting. Um, yeah, so I am um, I'm a certified essential oil specialist. I live in Houston, Texas. Um, I actually have a, a master's degree in 28 years in education, both in the classroom and also at the district level. So I was a curriculum designer, a trainer of teachers, um, and, and essential oils is, is my passion. So yeah, I really appreciate you bringing me on here today. And, and I, I am excited to share with you some tools that I have um, shared with a whole bunch of realtor friends of my own. Um, and so I'll just go ahead and, and get started. I think that this is something that you can very easily incorporate and you'll see, um, I think you'll actually see that it, that it can really uh, complement the business that you're doing and getting. So let's first talk about what, uh, let me just, oops, my chat thingy is in the way. Let me just move that so I can get to my, my slideshow. There we go. Can you see that, Debbie? Okay, perfect. So smells that sell. <laughs> <laughs> Good smells will sell, right? Not, not the bad ones. This is a picture of me and my real estate agent, my very dear friend, Cheryl and Sarah. She is a top realtor here in the Houston area. She and I have been working together, um, gosh, probably 10, 12 years now. She was one of the very first people that I started working with um, as an experiment using essential oils in her real estate business. And she's gone on to just really to maximize it. And, and so I, what I'm gonna share with you today here, a lot of this is based on her and her team's experience. So, um, you know, so before we go into this, let's talk for just a second about what essential oils actually are. I will tell you that I used to think that they were a fad, I tend to be very science oriented, by the way, um, and and I I've always enjoyed um, science, learning about medicine, learning about developments in um, in medicine and technology, and I really thought that <laughs> essential oils were something for hippies and tree huggers, and um, I've learned a lot since then. So, at its core. Really, essential oils are simply therapeutic extracts from plants. They are concentrated. They're 50 to 70 times more powerful than herbs because those compounds have been 
isolated from the plant material and the water, which could water them down. So one or two drops of a good essential oil are extremely powerful. Now, they might come from the flower, the petal, the leaf, the root, the bark. It just depends on which plant it is. And when you consider that people have been using plants for medicine for thousands of years, it just, it just makes sense, right? But in today's competitive real estate market, the astute realtor is always looking for ways to appeal to potential buyers. Am I right? Successful realtors highlight the best qualities of the home in their staging, especially when considering scenting for open houses and walkthroughs and, and showings, right? And they allow potential home buyers to explore houses and provide the opportunity to imagine themselves living in the home. And when you can create a better first impression, you're going to get better results, right? So you've probably seen, I think we've all heard, right, that, you know, you want to have cookies baking. <laughs> and you've probably seen uh, articles, read information about how scent can affect sales. And according to, uh, there's so many things out there, right? According to one study, buyers were inclined to pay 5% more for a home when it was scented with citrus compared to cookies or no scent at all. I thought that was really interesting. Um, you can see these are just a couple of them here, but exactly how does this work and what scents are most effective? So that's what I'm gonna bring to you guys today, okay? So let's talk about how essential oils affect the brain for a minute. So when you breathe in a pure plant oil, okay? And you've all experienced this, by the way, anytime you've peeled an orange and you get that little spray, the essential oils from citrus are found in the rind of the fruit. So that little spray that you get when you peel an orange, you're experiencing an essential oil, okay? When you, when you hold up a, a flower and you, and you sniff it, you're experiencing the essential oils. Those little compounds just evaporate up into your nose. And when that happens, they go up your nose. Let me just, I'm gonna stop and share my screen. There we go, now you can see me. Those little aromatic compounds go up your nose and they go to the olfactory nerve. They go past the olfactory nerve, which is part of the limbic system in the brain. And your limbic system is where both your emotions and your memory are housed and it triggers the amygdala to send messages to your body to stop producing stress hormones like adrenaline and cortisol and to start producing feel-good hormones like oxytocin and serotonin and other endorphins. So it's so much more than just making a, a pretty smell, having, a, a, you know, having the house smell pretty or getting rid of bad smells. It's actually producing a physiological response in the body that is affecting your emotions. And we all know that people buy based on emotion, right? So I'm gonna show you a diffuser real quick because um, this is the main way that you would use it as a realtor, okay? So a diffuser is simply a, you've probably seen them, maybe you have one. They vary according to quality as well as the square footage that they um, that they work, you know, that they work. But basically what I've done here is I've added water and I've added the an, an essential oil. The oil that I've added is called citrus bliss. So this, I'll just do this, just show you real quick how it works. This is a blend of mandarin, lemon, wild orange, grapefruit, and vanilla. And you better believe it smells divine, kind of like an orange Julius. Okay, so all I'm doing is I just put in like three to I don't know, depending on the size of the room, this particular diffuser is good for, for square footage of up to uh, a thousand square feet. So this would be fantastic for rooms with open floor concepts, great rooms, things like that. And you'd want to have it when they first walk in, all right? You would want to have it in the, in the living room space, kitchen space, that kind of a thing. So what it's doing right now is it is cre creating a vibration that is making this mist that is sending those essential oils up into the air where they will hover for up to seven hours. And I wish, 
I wish we had smell a vision and you could just smell this right now because it smells, I mean, these citrus oils and the vanilla are amazing. And so one, it's going to make the place smell great, but it's also going to affect their emotion. Okay, so now let's talk about which, oh, I see a great question from Michelle about are the oils safe for pets? As a matter of fact, I have a, a YouTube video on my channel that I talk about are they safe for pets or not? And absolutely, if you've got pure plant oils, they definitely are safe for pets. The only ones to really avoid would be tea tree, um, clove, which you probably wouldn't diffuse those anyway. So um, the main thing about pets, honestly, is people really need to be more concerned about toxic chemicals. Things like, things like bleach, Lysol, toxic chemical cleaners, those are the things that can actually cause, uh, can, you know, can trigger um, reactions, not only in pets, but also in humans, right? So um, that's the other thing too. I think a lot of times when we go into a house, if, if, if we've got plugins or room sprays, those are synthetic fragrances that can trigger migraines. They can trigger um, uh, allergies in people. And so when we've got, you know, a pure plant oil, it's like walking into a garden, right? So let me head on back here and we'll pick where we left off. So, so let's talk about what are the best oils for showings in open houses, all right? Because first impressions can make the difference for potential home buyers. It's impossible to ignore unpleasant odors in a home when you're trying to envision a future living there, right? Um, moreover, realtors can begin the home staging process by making sure that it feels inviting and it smells like home for potential home buyers. So here are my recommendations, okay? And I've selected these and, and Cheryl and her team have tried them out. These are the ones that seem to, to work best um, for showing homes. Okay, so Balance is an amazing essential oil. It smells earthy and warm. It's a good one to diffuse when you're expecting large crowds or when tension is high because it has a very grounding, calming effect with all of the tree oils that are contained in it. Um, Citrus Bliss is the one that I just put in my diffuser here. This is a really good one to boost sales and also just to um, peak interest for small groups. Um, that study about citrus oils was the reason why I included that one, uh, this particular oil in my collection. Um, Cheer is a, an essential oil that contains cardamom and lemon and um, vanilla and cinnamon. It smells refreshing and sweet and clean. It helps to bring energy and buzz. It's very uplifting. So if you're, if you're, um, you know, feeling like things need to be picked up a little bit, you wanna bring some energy, that's a good one to diffuse. Now, if you've got a house that maybe has some bad smells, whether it's pets or you know a dank ba uh, basement, I don't know. I don't know what might be going on. Um, if you've got smoke odors, things like that, you don't wanna necessarily cover it up with a whole bunch of fragrance. What you want to do is actually neutralize that scent. And that's what the purified oil will do. Um, and then Serenity smells expensive. And it's also very calming and relaxing. You, not only um, do, do we like to show it, um, to diffuse it in the more expensive listings, but also it's a good one to have in your office if you're you know, bringing clients back and you're having a conversation and Maybe they're stressing about, you know, finances or things like that. That's a good one to have going in your diffuser. Um, okay, so then this, as an entrepreneur myself, these are my secret weapons <laughs> for being productive, okay? This is a good one to take a picture of, by the way. You know, um, essential oils can help you be at the top of your game. You know, we all know that the energy that we project influences our results, right? And so if we can feel better, we will get better results. And when you have the pure medicinal grade oils, they really work. So I love to use peppermint. 
if you breathe it in from your hands, you put a couple drops on your hands and just breathe it in, it'll give you a, a temporary boost of energy. It's a good thing to do before you go into a meeting uh, with like with some clients. Or if you're just dragging, you know, maybe you've been doing showings all day and your energy is kind of, you know, flagging. Um, if you get a headache, you can put peppermint oil on your temples, base of your skull. It will it'll actually open up the, the blood vessels a little bit, dilate the blood vessels to allow that circulation to flow more freely and relieve that head tension. Um, Spanish sage, there's a ton of studies on pubmed.gov linking Spanish sage to improved memory, cognition, focus, and concentration. So I like to keep that going in my diffuser here in my office when I'm working. Definitely if I'm doing something that's more intensive, like with numbers, it's tax time right now. I've been um, working on that too. So Spanish sage has been in my diffuser a lot lately. Um, adaptive is the best oil for stress relief. I mean, whether it's anxiety, panic attacks, um, you know, if you have, if you get butterflies before giving a presentation um, or before speaking with a particular client, maybe picking up the phone, see that, that damn phone just feels heavy, right? You can, you can, you can breathe in some adaptive or you can put it in your diffuser. Now here in Texas, Houston in particular, it's oak pollen season. My car is covered with green dust at the as we speak. Everybody has sinus stuff. Everybody's dealing with the watery, itchy eyes, the, the sinus pain and pressure. Lemon, lavender, and peppermint together are the allergy blend. All, all I do is I put two drops of each in a little shot glass of water and I swish and gargle it. And then I spit it out or you can swallow it if you want to. You can also put it in the diffuser but peppermint opens your airways, lemon cuts through mucus, and lavender is a natural antihistamine. So it's like nature's Benadryl. So when I learned about that, I was able to you know, stop using my allergy medications, which would make me feel kind of weird. And now this is, what, this is what, what I do. Now, you could even have that blend going in, like if you're here in Houston with me and you're showing a house, you could imagine the experience you could create if you had that going in the house. Some you know, potential buyer walks in, they're stuffy, they've got sinuses, they walk in the house and all of a sudden their, their sinus pain and pressure goes away and they feel good. You think that they're, they're not gonna realize it was the diffuser, they're just gonna know that they really enjoyed the experience of coming to that house. Suddenly they feel good, right? Um, and then also copaiba is like one of nature's most powerful anti-inflammatories. So if you are tired of being on your feet or if your low back is bothering you, if you've got, you know, neck and back issues sitting at your computer, I don't know, you can use copaiba. So anyway, those just a quick explanation of what you can do for yourself. And then, so when we talk about, you know, closing gifts, quarterly pop buys or monthly pop buys. Imagine giving your buyers a gift that they use every single day, right? A diffuser and a bottle of oil. And it evokes a positive like emotions of like happiness and peace and calmness. And every time they use it, they think of you. That's what Cheryl and her team have, have you know, expressed to me they get more referrals and repeat business because they're staying top of mind. You better believe it. They love that not only are they able to um, you know, give their clients a better experience, they're giving them a gift and, and pop by items that, um, that their clients love, but they're able to maximize an affiliate program so that their gifts that they're giving are fully funded, which cuts down on their expenses. So they've seen more referrals and loyal sellers since they started working with me. Um, I do want to give you guys a word of caution, though, because essential oils are everywhere. The gas station down the street from me has essential oils, and I just want to throw up. So here's the thing. 90% of the essential oils on the market are not real. They all say 100% pure on the label, but there's no government body that regulates any kind of natural health and wellness products. 
So they can really put whatever they want on the label. Um, but if you look at the chemical analysis reports like I have, you'll see things like fillers, alcohol, pesticides, GMOs, but most common, by and large, synthetic fragrance. And so put simply, if it's not real, it doesn't work. You're not going to get all those effects, um, all of those, you know, good positive effects that we're looking for. Um, so that's why I recommend, you know, going with a brand that, and I, I obviously, I represent doTERRA essential oil. That's what you've been seeing on all these slides. Um, and so doTERRA actually is the only essential oil in the world that can be used in clinical trials and studies. So that's why all the hospitals, doctor's offices, I work with them too. Um, they use and diffuse uh, essential oils in their offices and in their treatments. And they're, they're using them in their research studies because of the purity and the consistency. Um, so that way you know from the very beginning that what you're using is the right stuff. So I want to just say thank you again for letting me be here. And oops, that's not the right one. Let me go. There we go. If anything I've said today has intrigued you, you'd like to learn more. I actually made a um, a little a little handout, a little trifold handout with some of my best tips and tricks for using essential oils as a realtor. I would love to be able to just email that to you. So if you want a copy of it. Just put your email and your name in the chat and I'll, I'll get that sent to you after our meeting today. Here's my contact info. Thanks again, Debbie. <laughs> Thank to you, you, Tiffany. <clears throat> there was some really cool information um, in that in those slides. And um, I think I'm going to have a bottle of peppermint in my car at all times so I can do the sniff, you know, and, and boost that energy. I love it. So yeah. um, are there any questions for Tiffany before we hop into our breakout rooms? Um, if you have a question, just unmute yourself, raise your hand, do whatever you feel good about. Um, okay, if there are not any questions, I, I'm going to keep, keep talking. So if you have a question, go ahead and unmute yourself. I have a question. There... Excellent. <laughs> So let's go Paulette and then Carissa. Um, how much are they and how much are the diffuser? So it would it would really depend. So like if you wanted to go with like this big diffuser right here that I've got, and then maybe if you just wanted to do a bottle of essential oils, we could do that for, I, I want to say it's like 70. Yeah. And then, like I said, there is an affiliate program we could work together. I would love to strategize with anyone who's interested. I could kind of strategize with you and we could see what your options are. But with an affiliate program, let's say, for example, you've got customers who love the oils and you tell them, look, you know, when you run out, here's my affiliate link. So then they start using your affiliate link. Then you get fund, you know, then it gets funds deposited into your account that you can then use to buy the next um, closing gift, right? So it just becomes perpetuating. So instead of having to buy affiliate gifts now, or sorry, closing gifts, things like that, you know, the, the um, drop buys, you're actually getting them all for free. So it, it would be a, a really cool way to minimize your costs. Cool. Carissa? That was going to be my question too. Excellent. And, you know, I was just, while you were talking about it, I was thinking of a oil of the month and they do have, there's two different sizes of bottles, right? You can get the five milliliter or the 15 milliliter, right? So, um, you know, them. pardon? Yeah, some of them, they don't all come in two sizes, but you know, the, the cost of the, of the oil just really depends on the, what oil it is. So for example, wild orange is 14 bucks because oranges are plentiful and, and they are able to get a, a high yield out of just, you know, one orange, right? Whereas something like frankincense, I would probably not recommend because it's $74 a bottle because it's of the sourcing and how precious it is and how difficult it is to obtain. Um, it's a big red flag if you go to a store and you see that all of the essential oils are the same price because that's just, a, you know, it's not, they're, they're not real. 
Gotcha. Gotcha. Wonderful. Well, thank you guys so much. And Tiffany, thank you for all your expertise. You are welcome to stay around and, and hang out in our breakout rooms, but I'm going to go ahead and um, 